who entrusts his bride in marriage. You may receive their bride. Pretty beautiful bride. His family and friends of Graham and Katie were gathered here today in the presence of God to witness the miracle of these two becoming one in the holy and sacred estate of marriage. By our presence here, we accept the responsibility for supporting them, rejoicing in their happiness, helping them in times of need. And that's when I say, take your wallets out. God established marriage that a man and woman might enjoy lifelong companionship, that natural instincts and affections might be fulfilled in mutual love, that children might have the benefit of family life, and that society might rest on a firm foundation. Graham and Katie, we rejoice with you, along with your Heavenly Father, that you've chosen each other. God said it wasn't good for a man to be alone, so he made a help mate comparable to him. After causing a deep sleep to fall on Adam, God took a bone, not from Adam's foot to be under him, not from Adam's head to be over, but a bone from his side to walk along together. Two becoming one is a wonderful mystery. It is also the continual process of choosing to adjust and adapt to one another in love. We have a beautiful picture of love. It says this, love never gives up. Love cares for more, more for others than for yourself. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut, doesn't have a swelled head doesn't force itself on others, isn't always me first, and doesn't fly off the handle. <laughs> it doesn't keep score of the sins of others. It doesn't revel when others grovel. It takes pleasure in the flowering of truth. It puts up with everything. Trust God always, and always looks for the best never looks back, but keeps going to the end. Love never fails. God is love, so remember this, when your love and patience fall short, trust me, some days it might. <laughs> God's there to give you help. All you need to do is ask. Graham, the meaning of your name is from a grand home. Looking around today, that's pretty <laughs> nice. And it also means generous. Katie, your name means spotless and unblemished. Yeah. I would say that's almost perfect. <laughs> the scripture I chose for you is in John. It says this, I'm the vine, you're the branches. When you're joined with me and I with you, the relation, intimate and organic, the harvest is sure to be abundant. Speaking with Lynn, because I didn't know the two of you, I mean, I knew Graham, but he was like knee-high to a grasshopper last time I saw him. Um, I noted a few things of interest. Graham, your, mon your mom said this, you're sensitive, heartfelt, one who communicates well, who's accommodating, laid back, and loves life. Is this true? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Katie, Lynn shared that you're vibrant, happy, kind, and a welcoming young woman who is well suited for Graham. In fact, I hear she pleaded, please don't leave Graham because you're one of the <laughs> best things that ever happened to him. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> you're a smart man. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like this foundation of love and support from your families will be important 
It laid you as you begin your life together as husband and wife. Parents are a good support. Okay. Katie, you shared with me that when you met Graham, you knew inside that he was the one you wanted to spend the rest of your life with. His values, views of other culture, how he handled life were important to you. And I know that one of your hobbies is wine tasting. <laughs> I'm drinking. <laughs> the first miracle in the Bible was at a wedding. The, ri the wine ran out, and Jesus graciously changed the wine, the water, into wine. So, Bruce, if the wine runs out, you better pray. <laughs> in fact, it was the very best wine. Wine was created from the beginning to make us joyful, not to make us drunk. Wine drunk with moderation is the joy of the soul and the heart. Wine inspires us, gives us courage, love, and joy. It warms our bodies, aids our digestion, raises our spirit. It is said that wine prepares the heart for love, unless you take too much. Bringing wine to your friend's home evokes a sense of pleasure and anticipation, like a sacramental act. It seals the bonds of friendship, and it sets a beautiful mood. Over wine barriers we erect are softened or they melt away. Tensions and stresses are easily forgotten, right? And so our hearts open up to one another. Often the wine we share with friends may be a blend of Cabernet or Mer Merlot, your, life, your lives together are like grapes that come from the same region 